Hello, this is Mike Kazimian from Advanced Network Devices. Today we will be discussing Ikaho Sidekick and why you should consider it in replacement of the older and legacy measurement tools that Ikaho offers. First of all, it's all-in-one Wi-Fi measurement appliance. Its spectrum analyzer is 10 times faster than the predecessors. Also, the uh, passive uh, signal receivers are 802.11 AC wave 2 compliant. Uh, it has an 8 hour built in battery. It is both Windows and Mac operating system compliant and it allows you to conduct simultaneous active and passive surveys. What it will replace? Uh, if you have had Ikahao Premium Edition, you will be having two adapters either it will be the the new adapters or the older nic 300 adapters plus one spectrum analyzer well the new sidekick will replace uh, both adapters either the nic 300 or the new adapters as well as it will uh, replace two spectrum analyzers because it can do simultaneous 2.4 and 5 gigahertz analysis Additionally, it has a built-in 8-hour battery, so it will not drain any current and power from your battery and allows you to conduct longer surveys between recharging of the laptop. On the back side of the um, device itself, uh, you can see that we have a um, standard camera screw uh, for mounting purposes. It has eight H-shaped uh, holes for the strap to go around and it can be mounted, the straps can be mounted in any direction. It has a cable guide which will connect the uh, Ikaho Sidekick to the laptop through USB. And it has full pull through holes for the straps. This is a typical configuration of connecting the Ikahau to a, a vacuum or a magnet based uh, tripod for outdoor surveys uh, through the camera screw which is on the back side. Now let's take a look at see what is inside Ikahau. Uh, it has a very accurate interface analysis uh, spectrum analyzer for 2.4 and 5. Again I mentioned that you can conduct both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz simultaneously uh, with this uh, device. It has two dual band enterprise 802.11 AC radios built in um, and also it has a rechargeable lithium ion battery that has 8 hours capacity of non-stop work. How to connect the sidekick? Simply you connect it through the USB and the way you carry it is through the strap that is supplied with the device. So usually you can carry it like a bag or you can mount it on various mounting devices that are available in the market. We can see it is connected to the USB and then from the other side it's connected to the sidekick. Now we will conduct the uh, short live demo of Sidekick and we'll compare it to the legacy systems that uh, Ikaho offered on the hardware side. As you can see within the uh, screen, we have the Ikaho Wi-Fi site survey. If we look at the adapters and channel configuration, we can see that for passive survey, we are using the uh, Realtek adapter, 802.11ac compatible. Uh, then we have the internal Wi-Fi adapter of the laptop for the ping, and then we have the Metageek uh, DBX adapter enabled for the spectrum analysis. First, we notice that it, we can do only 2.4. If we want to do 5 gigahertz, we have to manually switch the uh, configuration to go to the uh, 5 gigahertz band, or we can select the um, 2.4 band. For, for now, we will use the 2.4 band and uh, we confirm. Uh, once we open the live uh, spectrum data, we can clearly see that the uh, data is not getting updated as frequently as it's supposed to. Uh, we can see the real-time sweep is enabled. We can 
uh, turn off and on maximum density. We can even remove the uh, Wi-Fi uh, channel from the uh, display or we can have it. So we can have the point density distribution or we can have maximum or we, can, we don't have to have it, no density, so we can see the real-time sweep. Now if I um, enable and disable the Bluetooth, we can clearly see that it is barely visible due to the frequency of the sweep that is conducted by the, performed by the spectrum analyzer. Now, if I switch to the Ekaho Sidekick, you will see a significant difference in the performance of the real-time sweep, um, which is 10 times faster than the uh, DBX adapter. So let's switch over and see exactly what will happen. Disabling the uh, tube, uh, the um, Spectrum DBX adapter, and now enabling the uh, Ekahao Sidekick. It will take a few seconds for it to populate. You can see that the Sidekick is enabled, and then uh, the uh, MetaGeek D DBX adapter is disabled. Sidekick shows the power. Uh, you can see the um, 2.4 and 5 bands. You can see uh, the uh, uh, signal strength in DBM and you can see 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is being displayed. You can see now how fast the sweep rate for the sidekick is. It's very clear how fast it is. Now if we go back to the um, uh, Bluetooth we can see that the Bluetooth it will show immediately once we try to do a scan. We can see it will come in equal bars. We just missed it. You can see that right there. It shows there. Also, if we go to uh, the channels, you can see this utilization of the uh, of each channel. It is going at a very, very rapid rate. So it is quite, quite fast. Uh, and this can be done both for five Whereas we couldn't do it before, we had to switch over the spectrum from 2.4 to 5 with the DBX adapter or have two DBX adapters. Whereas here, we can see we can switch over and it will show you the results at a very, very fast rate. If we add no maximum density as well as the um, showing the, um, the AP channels, we can clearly see exactly what is going on with the, uh, with the data. Uh, we can also have the average sweep, so we can see how nicely this is adjusting itself due to the rapid rate of the uh, spectrum analysis within the sidekick. This concludes our demonstration of showing the advantage of sidekick in reference to the older hardware that was supplied with Ekahau.